Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> What is good? So I see this all the time when I'm coming home from work and that's proper lane position. And usually in my head I'm like, ah oh man, goddamn noobs, they're gonna get themselves fucking fucked up one day. But proper lane position, that's man, that's extremely subjective. The basic idea is you wanna stay in the left tire lane. So I'm in the right lane right here. And uh this is two lanes, right? So I want to stay in the, the left tire lane, nice block position. That way to the right, I got lots of lane to dip. Right? But if I were to go over to the right like this, I'm going to want to stay more in the right tire. You know, maybe towards the middle around there. That way I can kind of block anyone from the right from trying to sneak and push me in the lane if I was over here. You know what I mean? But you want to stay far enough back that you can see any deviations in the road because that may not be the perfect lane position. There could be a whole bunch of shit, just kind of shadiness in the left tire lane around here. Maybe there's lots of traffic that seems to be kind of getting close to the line and you want to ride more, more around here, which is perfectly fine. That's where it becomes subjective and you have to use common sense of where you think is the safest the safest spot to be while riding. Now I apologize for uh, the wind noise because it is fast moving traffic today for the speed limit and I'm just trying to go with the flow. That's another thing, go with the flow. Try not to move too much faster than the traffic around you or too much slower. Even if they are speeding, if there's, you know, a whole bunch of cops, just or cars, just kind of pace them. You definitely don't want to be leading the pack in that shit. Unless that's your whole point is to speed. But see, I'm staying far enough back that if I see something in the road, I can dip out of the way and get back in. I can see in front of the cars. But I'm not riding the I'm not riding the line. You don't want to be over here because if you do get a drifter, you can get dusted. Sometimes I do catch myself. I'm not perfect. I catch myself doing uh, the wrong position. You know, I, I try and correct myself after once I'm like, oh shit, that's kind of a shit spot to be in. But I usually try and stay in the left the left tire lane, but maybe a little bit closer to the center like this. That way I can still see everything, I'm not too close to the lane. Try and keep my distance from the guys in front of me. And it's not that I think I'm going to rear end them if they brake hard. I got good brakes, I can dip out of the way, but if they, if it, if they clear an animal with their four tires and I don't see it, and then it comes out the ass end, I'm like, holy fuck! You know, at least I got time to maneuver around that shit proper lane position as well is the distance you're keeping from the cars in front of you and behind you if you need to pass a motherfucker if a guy's riding your ass you know keep your distance in the cars in front of you always keep an eyes on your mirror I got time to stop if I didn't, I would have blown that yellow light if someone's too close behind me, but he was a good distance. A good distance so I had time to safely stop. Otherwise, you know what guys? Blow that yellow light. Always be aware of your surroundings. Because a lot of the times the cars behind you expect the bike to blow the yellow light and they'll follow through with you and you don't want to hammer on the brakes and get your ass run over. Look at these dipshits, you're not supposed to be in the intersection. You're supposed to leave it clear for emergency vehicles. Oh, he's smart. Not really. Well, see, here's a, here's a thing, a perfect thing. That's why right here, and stay back, that way you can see where those fucking shitty ass manholes are. That's a badass whip. That's a bad ass. You never know. I don't know why there's so ma many manhole covers in this shitty ass town. I hate this town. But this is the 
left tire lane right here and you can see, look at that shit fucking road. So it's not always the best lane position, but sometimes you gotta take what you can get, move over a bit, adjust yourself. There is no perfect lane position. If they really, really want to bully the way in, just honestly, kind of be nice, let them in. I know it's not always something we want to do, but... Sometimes we got to put our egos aside and pride and just be like, yes sir, there you go, you fucking dick. Let him in. Yeah, but... Proper lane position, like I said, is very subjective. And it's, you know, always up in the air for argument. The basic idea, you know, is... Start off in the left tire lane, but you have to use common sense. But the whole point is to be in a decent blocking position so cars can't bully you, share lanes. Wow, that's pretty fucking sketchy, buddy. Like, not very fucking bright. See, that shit is fucking sketchy as fuck. And now, this is a better a lane position for me since I got cut the fuck off. And a guy in sneakers, no jacket, and half a helmet. See, not, not, I don't know. A shit like that, and they fucking bitch about us. You know what I mean? It goes from proper lane position to dumbass riding. And there you guys have it. There's a fucking cruiser rider. But yet, they all fucking talk shit about us sport bike riders. It's not a very, and, and the worst part is he just fucking cut me off. Like, no regard for another fucking motorcyclist. Just a fucking piece of shit. But you notice how I didn't fucking road rage or nothing like that, as dumb as that was. I was pretty calm, obviously I'm gonna fucking run my balls on the video, but there's no need for that shit no need to be a fucking asshole. He knows he's an asshole. I'm pretty sure he looked like an asshole. But Jesus Christ, man. People like that have fucking why other people hate fucking motorcyclists. Anyways, that's why you use proper lane position. Don't be an asshole. If you give yourself enough room to, from you in the car in front of you, you know, at least, uh, wow, that guy's pretty fucking lucky on how big of a dick he was, and there goes a cop. He stopped being a dick just in fucking time. You know, those were some legal passes, but at the same time, legal passes don't always make for the smart passes. Not when it's like so many cars like this, but you think with another motorcyclist, You'd be a little bit more cautious on cutting them off. I'm pretty calm, but that's why you don't road rage. You keep a, a good, decent lane position. And, uh, you know, you're, you're gonna be all right if something happens, but even if it's like that. What's up, brother? So you guys have a good one. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't even know what to say about that guy. What a fucking douchebag. You guys have a good one. Peace.